Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to my channel. Sorry, we had a little hiccup in the beginning there. It did. I had pushed the button, but it wasn't coming on. Who knows, right? Good afternoon. Welcome to Sundays in Spell. I'm enjoying a little bit of iced coffee right now. With, if any of you are vegan or just trying to, like, you know, get away from cow's milk, whatever, the Khalifa unsweetened, toasted, coconut, and almond milk, and especially for iced coffee. I don't know why, but for iced coffee, it, I, I, I like it better almost than in my regular coffee. Anyway, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I really like their product. So we'll put that down. Okay, <clears throat> so yesterday, completely on a whim, I went to Goodwill. And as we've discussed earlier, with the exception of that book that I got, which by the way, is a great beginner book. The more I looked at it, the more I realized this is such a beginner book. I mean, it is everything like how to put in a pocket, how to put in a zipper, what in, and it gives you things like what's interfacing, you know, um, maybe, you know, I might be a little too advanced for it, but I still think it's a really good book. Anywho, I digress. I go into Goodwill and what do I find? Yeah, you, you know, right? And then also a stack of 80s fabric. It's the only thing I can call it. By the way, if you're wondering what the thumbnail is, I finally transplanted the plants that I got as a gift in like a big thing into my individual little USA Pottery and McCoy wear. So that's what the thumbnail is. But without further ado, I've already looked through this, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyway. First of all, look, it's the giant dance cookie tin. This is like the, it's the serious mamma jamma, right? So let me show you what was in it. First of all, let's start, start off with this, which the amazing thing to me is it's a Kodak film canister, right? This is like an eight millimeter film camera in that, in that, do you remember these? And they were great for storing things like these. For those of you who don't, don't know what these are, these little hooks are made for curtains and two sets brass and non-brass. And I'm really happy about this because the brass ones are super vintagey looking and wherever I end up, they may be the perfect thing. And then a piece of plastic that belongs to something that, who knows? And then there's a lot of the white, but that's okay. The white's good for like the kitchen, right? Places like that. So the next thing was, now I put these on the card. There were three sets of these. Can you see? How pretty, well, I'll turn it upside down because this is the way you would use it, right? The eyelet. And this was three yards plus a couple of inches. And then this very pretty lace, which I'll show you the backside so that you can really get an idea of what the lace looks like. See how pretty it is? And this was three yards, again, plus a little bit like three yards, two inches. And then there was this. This was five yards and 28 inches. And let me show you the back so you can really see. I'll put it upside down. Look at how pretty that is. And I'm not a big lace girl. I don't do a lot of lacy stuff, but I was pretty happy with that. And look guys, I know it's shocking. Zippers and super long one. Like tell me this is not a bridal dress zipper. Look at how long that is, right? I, I won't be getting married anytime soon, so I'm not really sure what I'll use that for. And then there was this one, which is metal and it's for a coat. And it's navy. Again, don't know what I'll use that for. And there were, let me show them to you. Let me show you the other two zippers that were navy and metal. There were two of these. Those I might actually put up on Facebook, or Facebook, on Etsy, because Etsy metal zippers sold pretty good for me. It was the other ones that didn't sell. And then there was just a whole bunch of these and all these colors. But, you know, kind of cool because I will use these. These are the shorter zippers. These are the ones that are made for tops, tops that used to have zippers, and for usually for skirts. These, I don't see these used for too much else. I mean, I guess you could use them for pants, but I think they're too short. I think these are sevens, and nine is usually what you use for, like, skirts and stuff. There was a bunch of this stuff, which I'm not even really sure what it is. It's too slim to really be to really be like a um, seam binding. Actually, the blue stuff, 
yeah, I'm glad you guys are here because guess what I just figured out? The blue stuff is piping. So I'm gonna have to go through and see how much piping that is. And there's something between the cards? No. No, it's just, okay. They just folded over the cardboard. Okay, I was like, okay, this is getting weird. And then there was embroidery gloss, which I don't use. Oh, another, another zipper. Shoelaces, this seems to be a theme late, lately. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. And then a bunch of this, I thought it was shoelaces, but it's not, it's black cording. So I don't know what I would use that for, but okay. And then there was a whole bunch of zipper feet. Now I'm gonna have to see if they work with this singer and if I already have them. If I do, I will put these up on Etsy because these, sometimes these are harder to find, believe it or not, especially for these older machines, but it looks like for the, if they're for an older machine. Um, and one green shoelace, not really sure what I'll do with that. And then there was this, some um, gross grain ribbon. A lot of it, I haven't measured it yet, but there's actually two large pieces, pretty cool looking. And then this little cutie, look at it, it's ladybugs, but it's only a really tiny piece, but it'll go on an apron or something. And this weird stuff that I've never seen before, it's a cloth, plastic coated cloth tape. I guess it's the, um, the precursor to washi tape, right? And this is contact tape. And this is the same thing. It's like cloth, but it's plastic. And then the other side is adhesive. Okay, a thing of, a vintage thing of razor blades, which I don't know what I would use them for, but hey, throw them into the pot, right? Uh, and then this, and the funny thing about this, this is the wood handle. So this is a vintage one because now all the handles are plastic and they started doing plastic like in the seventies. So this is older than that. I'm like, yeah, I'll take this. I'll put that, I'll put that with the, the, uh, What's the word for it? The um, the seam the seam ruler that I've gotten the last thing. Okay, so the rest of this, and you're all gonna laugh at me. Oh, by the way, one button. Okay, you're gonna laugh. The rest of this is this, which is all this tape, seam tape, seam binding, hem binding, all that usual stuff. And it is, I'm not kidding you, like this much, and it's great. Some of it's vintage, some of it's not. Uh, some of it's obviously been used because you can see where it's mixed. Oh, and this is actually decorative braid. That's cute. You guys see that? It's kind of cute. Um, yeah, bias tape, um, more bias tape, seam tape, seam tape, seam binding, hem facing. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, don't you already have a shitload of that? Why, well, yes, you would be right in remembering that, yes, I do have a shitload of this. The thing about this, this is the kind of stuff that I, when I used to sew a lot, I always finished my seams and this stuff, especially this says seam binding, but can you see how it's mixed? It's a bunch of different hem tapes in here. This is how I always did my hems. I would sew this lacy stuff on and then flip my hem up. And so there's a whole bunch of that in different colors. I love whoever owned this because this is, you can tell this person saved stuff. Not only were these zippers cut out of things, but yeah, she was definitely, she was Miss Frugal and you got to love it, right? All right. So the next thing that I got that was kind of part of this haul, I guess you could say, because I bought them the same day, we'll put that down here for a minute. Come on, don't fall over, was all of this fabric. Okay. This fabric. I am calling the 1980s fabric haul because it's stuff like this. Do we all remember this like kind of baby stuff? Um, this is a small piece. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I don't really sew for babies and and this is also a small piece. I don't know what I would do with this. But we'll, we'll figure it out. See, I don't quilt and I don't sew for babies. So these smaller pieces of fabric, I don't have an idea of what to do with them. If you can think of something, tell me. All right, but then there was this. This is actually, well, there's two pieces in here with it that were the reason I bought this. Now, this is absolutely an industrial fabric, but I love the pattern and I love the color. And my first thought was, I'm gonna make myself a circle skirt or something like a circle skirt because I don't have quite enough. 
for a circle skirt out of this pattern because I think this would be absolutely gorgeous. And I don't want curtains made out of it. It's cute. I'm sure it was meant for curtains, but I don't want curtains made out of it. By the way, this is from 1987. It's printed on here. DuPont. 1987. Okay. This is also 1987. Now this is going to be curtains. Look at this pattern. I use just white shears in my bedroom. I like to let as much sunlight in as possible. But it's nice to have something also decorative. Not so much a balance piece, that's not really my style, but something else going on. And I found this piece and I was like, wow, look at how beautiful this deco piece is. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because it's not super long, but it's so beautiful and so deco that I had to grab it. And that brings us to our last piece, which is OMG, totally bitchin' and totally 80s. And you ladies, ladies of the 80s will go, oh yes, I remember this fabric. I think I had sheets that looked like this at one point in time. In fact, what? let me see if I can see the year. So I'm looking at the salvages right here. It's called Crystal Palace. Uh, and of course they have to put they have to put it in Roman numerals so I got to figure out what Roman numerals they are but it's a lot of it oh it's actually two pieces oh no it's not okay it's just folded it's a lot of it very 80s um, I might end up selling this only because I have this other piece of fabric that is also totally 80s and really gnarly um, and so I might have to you know put them together and put them on Etsy at some point in time but just whoa, talk about a walk down memory lane with the fabrics, right? So, oh, it has been a long weekend because yesterday it was 96 deg degrees and today it's 93 with like, I think a 50 or 60% humidity. Yesterday was blistering. I went out and did the errands I had to do, went to the post office, went to Goodwill and found this stuff and came home and kind of locked myself in the house because it wasn't even worth going outside. Today's a little cooler, not much, but a little bit. Um, but it's kind of nice to finally see some spring, summer weather. Of course, this is a rehearsal because tonight apparently it's going to go down into like the low 60s or something like that. So this was just a rehearsal for summer in New Jersey, or as we like to call it, Hell's Front Porch. Um, but it was nice. So yeah, that's it for today. So today's a haul video. This Sunday in Sabelle is a haul video. And again, the thumbnail is pictures of those plants that I repotted. So until my next video, which will be Tuesday, hopefully Goodwill will get some more good stuff in. Um, I hope it's nice where you are, not too hot. Um, so please like, comment, subscribe, and um, stay well. I'll see you soon. Thank you for stopping by. Bye.